What up fam? Made it down here to Crystal Cove State Park. Here we're gonna go down and check out the historic district today. We just parked, it's $5 an hour. We're over here at this little shuttle stop. We're gonna pay and hop on the little shuttle and take you down to the beach. Let's go. Just got off the shuttle and we made it down here. A little stop where we got dropped off. Beautiful down here, man. Look at these flowers blooming. Yeah, we're just gonna hit the trail, go down to the beach and check it out. So just reading this little sign here on the cottages in the uh, Crystal Cove Historic District we're about to check out that we're currently in. Uh, these cottages were built they're one of the last remaining stretch of cottages that um, represent a time in history where people built the cottages just using only what they had on hand, you know, from their local environment and without any like solid plans. There's not a lot of cottages left like that, so we're gonna go check them out and uh, see what this history has to offer. So the type of cottages they are, they are vernacular and these are the last self-contained vernacular cottages in Southern California. This is also a National Register of Historic Places. Let's go down. So it's like a little town down here. They got a little visitor center right over here. We're gonna go see what they got. We're in here in this old cottage kitchen. It's super cool. Super beautiful too. The old bottles, the old stove. There's a Shake Shack that's close by. There's a trail to it. We're not gonna go up there right now though. I believe it's right up there. Walking through this little kind of village, man, there's just all these cottages. They're all labeled, they all have names, numbers. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's almost like a dream home of mine. <laughs> right on the beach. So coming down here really brings you back to the early 20th century Southern California. That's where it all started. This is what it was all about. This was the lifestyle. Wow. Check it out. What's interesting about these beach cottages, you can actually rent these out and stay down here, I believe. So, pretty cool. So right now we're just gonna take a little stroll down the beach and uh, just check everything out before we uh, stop in somewhere.
There's the Shake Shack right up there. Really good spot. Hi. Might go there. So hopefully you can see on the footage that I'm catching the amount of cottages that they do have. It's quite a bit. Like I said, it's like a little village down here. You just take a walk on the beach and uh, just kind of go back in time. We had a little detour, about 15 minutes. Tristan lost Jasmine's 1996 limited edition Tamagotchi, but <laughs> A little girl found it and luckily we got it back. This is what it looks like. They were real popular when we were like super young. But yeah, can't really find them nowadays. Limited edition. done exploring the little beach we're gonna walk back through the little cottage town and uh, probably go up here by the Shake Shack and check it out and get some food make a quick little pit stop in this uh, looks like an art gallery right by the beach it looks like photos that children have drawn for the state park and they got them on display here like it's an art gallery pretty cool right here by the ocean. We're going up that trail, the trail to Shake Shack. Taking a quick stop at this little store we didn't check out yet. The store. Paintings, crystal coat. Oh, not to record their art. Sure. So, if I never buy anything, I buy stickers. So that's what we got from the shop. There's a lot of art that we found here. That's because a lot of artists have come here to get inspiration from Crystal Cove. Now, time to hit this little Shake Shack trail and get something to eat. And we made it to the top. Village is down there. We're up here by the Shake Shack. If you do come here in your vehicle, you can always expect to be in a really long line up to the Shake Shack. So we just ordered our food. Now we're waiting. We're number 497 and it came out to a total of $85. It's pretty expensive, but it's the experience and it's a really good spot. Shake is ready, 498. Shake is ready to throw it. We stole a little spot right over here. We got the best view. Some people hopped up and we just I told them to make a run for it. We just we just took the spot. Look at the view we got. We 
got our food. Time to enjoy this burger from the Shake Shack. Right over here, looking at the ocean, man. Good times. That's it for Crystal Cove. We're making our way back up to the trolley. Waiting on the bus. Came down here to check out this little tunnel. Pretty cool. It's got uh, art murals everywhere. It's echoing everywhere. And there's streams of water on each side just running through the whole tunnel down to the creek and it's echoing everywhere. Echo! We missed the bus, so <laughs> price you pay to check out the tunnel. Um, we're just gonna wait for the next bus. Just made it off the bus back to the parking lot. Crystal Cove, we checked it out. It was a really good time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Coming down with us, Crystal Cove State Park. Beautiful cottages by the beach. Make sure if you're not already, consider subscribing and hit the subscribe button. Drop a comment below and make sure you like this video and let me know what you're thinking, man. We'll see you guys on the next little adventure. Adios.